Peggy! I can't even run. Peggy! Oh, no. Peggy? Peggy! Where'd you go? Huh. What? Hello? What the? No way. <gasps> this can't be happening. Oh! Oh! Okay, Mr. Cool Guy walking on the table like as if you own the place. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Dodgy and today we are playing some killer frequencies. So sit back, relax, grab your snack, grab your beverage of choice, grab your stuffy and let's get on with the show. Well, it is the final break of the night. Peggy has been so gracious enough to let us take a five minute break, but now we are back and ready to be on air. It's Dodgy here with Four Snash. Let's roll. You got it. We've got another call coming through, too. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Got it. Oh, we have another call coming in, but hang on. What's up, Peggy? 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 <laughs> You're going to want to take this call off the air. Who is okay. it? Okay. Just do it. All right, folks, it's time for another track. Here's one to help you sit back and relax. We'll be right back after this. Yeah, look at me being a regular DJ. I love this next track. Uh, I hope this is good news, Peggy. Yeah, me too. Who have we got? Find out for yourself on line one. Line one. Obviously, it's somebody awesome because she's way too excited for this call. Hello? Forrest, I'm glad I got back through to you. <gasps> Leslie! Like it's been a busy night, huh? Oh my Hi. god, yes. It's Leslie, our 911 operator, leading the charge from Henderson to come save us. Woo! It's so good to hear from you. Are you okay? We're doing okay. Sarah and I are both happy to be headed back home. Sarah? We're happy to have you too. I... Wait, Sarah? Oh, yeah, I mean Deputy Martinez. Uh, anyway, uh, we got back into radio range huh. a little while ago. Is that her first name? We've been listening in, but haven't been able to get through until now. Uh. It's been nonstop since you left. Please tell us you're bringing help. Please. You bet. Woo! I'm leading a whole goddamn squad towards Gallows Creek as we speak. Sweet. Turns out somebody had cut the phone lines. They had no idea what was happening. Really? That's great news. That's crazy about the phone lines, though. Do you think the whistling man cut them? I'm guessing so. I but that would mean that he would have to go... She, how the whistling man did it. They would have but to have gone right all the way out. We're coming in hot. But they were okay. still doing killings? I know Gallows Creek isn't a big town. But if we don't know where the whistling man is, we can't get him. Her. That's where you come in. You what do you need? Others. What do you need? It might be a long shot. But here goes. The whistling man already called up a few times. Right. I bet she calls again. We're still a little ways out of town, so if she calls, stall her. Okay. Buy as much time as you can for us to get in. And while you're talking to her, try to figure out where she is. We'll be listening mm. in. So once her location is known, we'll head straight there and end this nightmare. I'll do my best. Do my best. I know you will. Heck, I can see the headlines now. Forrest Nash's interview of a lifetime. Anyway, hey, I can get my final I'll my final comeback. Tell them the plan is a go. Hopefully the next time I see you, it'll be with our killer behind bars. Yeah. Take care now. We'll see you soon, Leslie. Bye, Leslie. Oh, thank God. It sounds like this is almost over. We're nearly through this. Uh I hope you're right. I hope you're right. The sooner this is over, the better. Mm -hmm. I right. Trust me. Anyway, we should get you back on air. Taking callers is the only way to see this through. Okay. Time to turn the music off. Boop. Bringing you back live now. Welcome back to The Scream with me, Forrest Nash. And Dodgy. The line is lit up, but before I get to our next caller, I just want to say things are looking up. It's almost over. But for now, let's bring in our next caller. 
Okay. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Hello, Forrest. This is John Hedges. Oh, hey, I'm John. John. Casey. I wanted to give you an update on Jason. John, is is he going to be okay? He's a fighter. He'll be fine. Okay, good. Got him stabilized and resting in a bed. I'm preparing to move him to the hospital. Thank you so much. If you hadn't been there, then God, I don't even want to think about what would have happened. You would have lost Forrest your friend. Casey. We're just happy he's okay. John, Casey, you two did all the work. Mm -hmm. Tell Jason to get well soon from us, whenever he's up for it. Well, why don't you tell him yourself? <gasps> Is this Forrest? Hey, buddy. You feeling okay? Can I click that? It is. I hope you're feeling better now. It's good to hear you, Jason. How are you? Oh, well, you know, I've got a hole in my stomach. Hmm. And there's a knife in my leg, but John gave me something to take the edge off. Must be so some good stuff. I might feel even better than either of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, don't, don't laugh too hard. Don't laugh too hard. Take it easy until you get to St. Gabriel's. I will. But, uh, before that, I, I needed to call you. Oh, really? I'm guessing the whistling man is still out there? Yeah. Why do you ask? Yes, the whistling man's still out there. Why do you ask? You know something about the whistling man, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do. Can we talk about what happened earlier? Go for it. Casey said when you were attacked, your assailant said something like, It's not so funny now? Mm-hmm. Do you know what they meant? I do. And I've heard that voice every day in my head for almost 20 years. 20 every years? Day. Does the killer live in Gallows Creek? No. Not exactly. Hey, guys, I'm really sorry, but there's a call on the other line. I just need to make sure we don't have another situation brewing. You fill Jason in on what happened, I'll be right back. Okay. Forrest, have you ever heard of somebody called George Barrow? Yeah. The boy who drowned? Sounds like Yeah, a whole investigation we did. Now. It's been tough to hold it all in. Sounds like you've been holding back about something awful, Jason. I'm part of the reason my best friend is dead, Forrest. And the few who knew about it said if I ever said anything. I'd find myself in jail for a long time. So blackmail. Hell. And then the town just moved on. Like he'd never existed. Who killed Who George? Who killed George that night? <sighs> if some of the guys on the football team had an idea for a way we could haze the newcomers. Okay. We decided to plan a party in the woods. Naturally. And have... The whistling man crashing it was stupid we each had a role i was the stabbed friend at the party that night i left the group for a second met our whistling man pretended to get stabbed in front of everyone and started an almighty panic those screams that was the last time I saw or heard George alive. How did George die, Jason? I don't know. I was playing dead. But when I heard her scream... Her? Yeah. George's girl. Do you George's remember who she girl. was? Yeah. He called her Bean. I heard her again tonight, Forrest. Her name was... What? What happened? What? Are we still on air? No, clearly not. The power is out. How do we get it back on? I don't. Uh, oh, we can use the emergency generator down in the basement. Okay, that's good. An emergency broadcast? Bear yeah, you point. make you make a good point. Okay. Okay. I I know exactly where I know exactly where that is. 
You know, this place is eerie when it's like completely silent. Open that up. Oop, open that. So the person, the her, her name starts with an M. So it could be Marie, it could be Mary, <laughs> it could be Martha, it could be anybody. Far back corner. Why is this station so big? It's really not that big. You're just really small. I'm being snarky. I'm being snarky to force Nash now. That must be it. Boop. Boom. We've got power. Woo. Oh no. The whistling man. I need to warn Peggy. No, not Peggy. We have to go and save her. Well, if he's already upstairs, I'm pretty sure he would get to her way quicker than, uh... Peggy. Peggy, are you there? Are Peggy. You... Peggy. Peggy. I need to get back upstairs. He already went upstairs. She's in danger. What the hell? Oh no. Oh no, I think I know what that sound is. Peggy! I can't even run. Peggy! Oh no. Peggy? Peggy! Where'd you go? Huh. What? Hello? What the? No way. <gasps> this can't be happening. Oh. Oh. Okay, Mr. Cool Guy walking on the table like as if you own the place. A, a call. What do you want? What do you want? Good to talk to you again, Forrest. Dawn? You know, I've really enjoyed our chats tonight. Where's Peggy? Have some patience, Forrest. It's almost the end of the night. Almost the end of the show. But it's not over just yet. Got a little time still. So let's make the most of it. What do you mean? What do you mean? Make the most of it how? Well... Huh? I thought we'd end tonight's Whistling Man special with a special guest. The one who started it all. Oh, let me take that out of your mouth and... You crazy bitch! She didn't move! Let me go! Welcome to the air, Mr. Teddy Gallows Jr. Wait. It's all gonna come out tonight, Teddy. <gasps> your daddy and his money saved you 20 years ago. But even if you crawled out of his car with all the money in the world... Wait, where the hell is Teddy? How, how are you yeah. talking to him if you're here with me? Because I'm not there with you, Forrest. I'm here with Teddy. And if he says where that is, well, he knows I'll get it. I can see you. You're standing right in front of me. Oh, I get it. You're wondering who's was there at the station with you. Yeah. Forrest Nash, let me introduce you to all of Gallows Creek. To my boy, Henry Barrow. Your son? Your son? You mean you. Like that he. You were pregnant? Or <laughs> and I had a son. So there were two whistling lights. I knew it! Of course! That explains how you were always able to get around town so quickly. Yes! And that's how you escaped the secret archives in the right newspaper. because who who else could have left let him out locking my sweet boy away like an animal hang on did you say barrel that are you let me just get this mask off damn uncomfortable thing no wonder Mooney went crazy wearing this there we go Marie. Marie. Marie Campbell? George's old girl. Oh, well, it sure has been years.
years since I last saw. No. Oh, God no, you God. shut your face, Teddy. Not Don, huh? Marie Campbell. So, not Don, huh? No. Not Don. What are you going to. Uh, uh, Hit him everyone's again. Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. He killed George that night. This night. 20 years ago. Listen to me. You. Ah! You're gonna talk when I talk to you. And not a moment before. Me, hmm. Forrest. I'm gonna give you the chance to talk. Okay. You're gonna help me reveal what really happened to George all those years ago. I won't do it. Why wouldn't I do it? I'll do it. Okay, Marie. I'll do it. Good. Then let's talk about the night George was murdered. Murdered? Oh, listen, I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just give him a good weapon. I said you speak when you're spoken to. <sighs> now... Do you feel better, Don? You've done or, good work Marie? Piecing together what happened to George 20 years ago. And that's why I want you to interview us. I can do that. Interview you. Uh, all right. Uh, I can do that. Thank you. I want you to help me and Teddy tell the story, Forrest. Do a good job. And hell, you might be the only one to leave here alive. <laughs> you better keep your mouth shut, Teddy. I need to drag this out. If I can buy Leslie time to get back to Gallows Creek, and if I can find out where Marie is, then this can end. Teddy, we'll start with you. Yeah. Just, uh, talk me through what happened that night. How did it start? How would I know? It was 20 years ago. Oh, you know. Hit him. Hit him again, Marie. <coughs> you know. What the hell? You know what happened. God damn it. Okay. Our first team party was coming up. And when I saw the date it was scheduled for, I had an idea for a way we could prank the new guys. The night Mooney vanished? It was the night Mooney, the original whistling man, vanished. Isn't that right? That's right. That hell. It seemed too perfect to pass up. I was just surprised no one had ever thought to do it before. Wait. Probably because they weren't psychotic. You mean this was the first whistling night. I, uh. Keep talking, Teddy. We went up near Whistling Point. Uh, God. Who was there? Me, Jason, and George, of course. Um, but George didn't come alone. He brought Marie. About midway through the night, we put the prank into action. We looked up at the trees and saw Jason there. Bloody, like he'd just been stabbed. And the whistling man. <laughs> Screaming. George and I and Ricky. Wait, Ricky? We got left behind. Wait. Ricky was there? Roller Roll Ricky? Ricky? He was. And he was in on the whole thing. What? How do you know? How do you know that Ricky was in on it? Teddy and Ricky were as close as anybody. I can't believe for a second that Ricky didn't know the plan. I never told... Damn it! If Ricky had told us... If he just told us... He and George would both be alive still. Hmm. Well, if Ricky oh, weren't dead, we could have the side of the story. It was just a stupid prank. Ah, uh, no, no, no. A prank? Yeah, no. Hit him, Marie. Hit him again, Marie. We don't oh, like Teddy anyways. God. Teddy Teddy is a politician. We don't like him. <laughs> George think Jason had been murdered. He thought his best friend was dead. And so tonight you stabbed him for real? It's the role he wanted to play. Jason's still alive, Marie. He was with a friend. We talked her through how to stop the bleeding and got him professional help just in time. Oh. Well, shame he didn't have the good sense to die earlier. <laughs> He's gonna regret that. Enough about him. Me and George took off running, but 
somehow we got separated in the woods. That's why he had all the scratches. And when I noticed George wasn't with me, I panicked. And then, I don't know how he snuck up on me, but the whistling man grabs me. I scream, and he starts laughing. Telling me it's, it's just a joke. Uh, I can stop for time here. Oh, okay, okay. Um... How do you, How feel? Did you feel in that moment? Yeah, describe your feelings like to me. Nothing was real. I felt small, confused, and lost. What happened next? Tell me what happened next. I suddenly recognized it was Chuck. Chuck Brody. It was the whistling man. Chuck Brody. <gasps> Chuck. But then he stops And he's looking up At the top of Whistling Point What was he looking at? <laughs> you can clearly tell she's Seth, like Distraught about this What happened next? Nothing I mean It was just Don't Teddy. say it George Fell off Whistling Point How do you, How do you know? know what happened? I Saw it up there. You were dressed as the whistling man too, and I didn't push him. God damn it! I just chased him up there, and he kept backing up. So you don't take the mask off and be like it's a prank? Over. I reached out. That's what you saw. You liar! It's not my fault. He didn't know it was a joke. If he would had any brains, wow! He realized. Ugh. You know what? Just keep hitting him. Bitch. No one's going to believe this. After all you did. I believe her. Oh, wait. I believe her, but then why... Why the cover-up? <sighs> I know why the cover-up. You... What? Why else cover it up? Yeah, My exactly. Was at stake, Nash. You know what it's like. People like us are bred for bigger things. Oh my god. I'm going Speaking like a regular politician. And then governor. And then who knows? No. What happened that night was tragic. It should never have happened. But it was a mistake. That you got away it was with. just a stupid joke. Gone wrong. So my father sent Clive out to clean it up. Why should a blip ruin my future? A blip? George was a blip? That's an evil thing to say, Teddy. Wow. That's the way it is. My father agreed with because you're both scumbags. Sandra found him the next morning while out jazz running. She found him in the river, but she lied about that to protect Teddy. Huh. She said something about her rent going up. Well, <gasps> she... Teddy, <sighs> did your father own Sandra Sharp's dance studio? It's Gallows Creek, not Sharp Creek. Hit him again. Hit him again, Marie. Damn it. Yes! Okay. We own most of the town. That's it then. Your father was going to run her out of business unless she if lied she if she and told she found him in the reservoir instead of the river. What my father did in his business dealings is nothing to do with me. The it has everything. Point. That's why you killed Sheriff Matthews too, isn't it's it? It's illegal. Not just to get him out of the way, but Everyone was in on it, Forrest. Even the coroner wrote a fake report. Said George was drinking. And he wasn't. He just got himself into trouble. And... I saw. I'm... I'm sorry. If Dr. Sullivan had survived, then maybe... There's no excuse for what she did, Forrest. I did my part. I tried everything I could think of. I even went to the newspaper. But no. 
That coward killed the story. We'll take care of Maurice Russell later. This has to stop when, when the killings end. I feel like the killings will end when she gets her revenge on everything and everybody. This has to stop is, a, is just a statement that I don't think would be beneficial or helpful. I think because we need to keep her, keep her talking, so we got to let her know You've been that we're memory. on our side in a way. I'm sorry. You've got no idea. I never should have started. I shouldn't have pushed my door off of it. I should have been punished. But it's coming to a stop. At least for now. Here, where George and I first met, before he joined the football team, was right after he shot the winning throw. Wait a sec. Okay, football field, the roller rink, the school gym. You're at the football field. Jesus Christ! Forrest, you idiot! We're in the gym at Gallows Creek High! I told you not to do that. Wait! <gasps> He's... He's dead. Dead too now, isn't he? Yeah, we didn't need him anyways. I think that about wraps up the interview with Teddy. So... Marie? Where? Oh my god. Peggy! Teddy! Peggy, it's been so long since I've seen your face. I worried you wouldn't come. And here I was, thinking you'd forgot me. I'd never forget my own sister. Forrest seems lost for words when I explain. Peggy. Yeah, I'm a little, a uh, little confused. While you were speaking to Jason, I got a call. Do you remember? Yeah. Well, it was from Dawn. She said that my sister Marie was there that night George died. And that I should come to the gym for a reunion. And, and a reunion. You walked in. You, you saw that. the whistling man. My sister is the whistling man. Good to see you too, Peggy. Why didn't you tell me any of this? She said that it was my last chance to see my sister. I knew if I told you, you'd try to stop me or come with me when we need you on the radio. And I just... I'm sorry. This has to be a lot for you. I just... She disappeared. She had her heart broken. I was thrown out, Peggy. I begged Mom and Dad to do something about what happened that night. But did they care? No. They told me to stay quiet. Stay quiet? They learned I'd been with George. They were ashamed. Marie, I'm so sorry. I never knew. It's not your fault. Really, it's Mom and Dad I should be seeing right now. But since they're dead and gone, well, I'll have to settle for the next best thing. That's why you attacked Je uh, Eugene. Wait. Is that why you went after that kid in the maze maze? Uh, Eugene Stein? Because his parents? That's right. Eugene's parents were there that night, too. Wow. They got themselves killed in a bus accident. And since only their child was left... Murray, please. Mom and Dad are gone, Peggy. Besides, you forgot me. Just like the rest. You forgot. But she Marie, didn't. Peggy never forgot about you. She clearly Your didn't. Mouth shut. She kept a card from you. She she kept it here on her desk. What card? The card you made me for my eighth birthday. What does it say then? Happy birthday, Peg. Now you're great and eight. Love M. I. You forgot the XX. Well, I. Henderson Police! Free! Oh no! Henry! Get out of there! Peggy! We have one wounded, one dead, and we're in pursuit of the suspect. Henderson Police! Freeze! Forrest! Leslie! How's Peggy? She's been cut pretty bad, but we're here now. Oh, thank God. 
be okay. God, Marie. Hey, Zara. I need you to look after Peggy. She needs help. Now, we got here just in the nick of time. Where's Marie? She bolted right as we got here. The Oop. police are right on her heels. It won't be long now. Okay, good. Over, Forrest. Woo! All right. Well, folks, it was a long night, but we made it through together. Yeah! We're gonna head off to go check on <sighs> Peggy. This is Ben. Forrest Nash. And Dodgy. Ooh, good night and good morning. Let's make tomorrow better. It's been a scream. And it's been a scream. Oh, yeah. So smooth. So freaking smooth. Hey, okay. All right. So I guess these are all the people that didn't make it. So we saved the majority, which is great. Um, it would have sucked if Peggy would have died. But that is crazy! It was her sister? I, I, and like... This is Officer Trout. Come in. One suspect is in custody. We've trailed the other suspect into the nearby woods. Nearby woods? Why does that sound like Ozzy Osbourne? Like, it has that sound of Ozzy. But anyways... Like, I, I had figured in the beginning, I'm pretty sure I called it, that there was, um, there had to have been two whistling men. Because if you couldn't get out of the one safe, like, that right there, that was my first clue that there, that there was more than one killer. So let me know in the comments down below, guys, did you think that there was more than one killer or did you think it was a ghost or what? Let me know what your thoughts are. This game was really fun to play um, and it's just, it's really cool to see like how many people you saved and how many people unfortunately met their untimely demise. I kind of want to see if there's any more bonus radio traffic. Ah, moth. Ah, God, these moths. At the top of Whistling Point? <gasps> no! Wait! So they got the they got the mom. The mom is in custody. I'm pretty sure. Either the mom is in custody or was it the son in custody? Stop! Put your hands in the air! Get down on the ground! No, it had to have been the son. They got the son in custody because they were outside. I just want to know if it's Marie. I want to know if Marie is the one that's on top of. I want to know if it's Marie. Was it Marie that that, that jumped? Officer Luco, do you have a visual? Negative. No sign of the suspect anywhere. Did they live? Or did they die? That, that is the question. I need to know. I like this outro cutscene too. I, I, I wish more games would do this because it's not like you're, you're just in a loadout screen like this. They actually made it where it feels more interactive. I really, really like that. I guess we will never know who it was uh, that jumped off. I'm guessing it was the mom. I'm guessing that Marie jumped off of Whistling Mountain. This, this just leaves it open for a, a part two for Killer Frequency. That would be cool. I would really, really love to see them make a part two to Killer Frequency where um, I could see them doing a Killer Frequency part two or a uh, DLC or whatever, um, with her coming back from the dead, essentially, but really she survived. The only other option I could see is the sun. The sun coming back and being a whole new Whistling Man killer. So I don't know. Um, let me know, guys, what you thought about this gameplay. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed it, first off. I personally enjoyed it. I thought it was a very fun interactive game. The only thing that I wish, uh, I wish that you could like speed run a little bit more, 
but other than that i love the art style i love the um the gameplay it was it was really cool and i love the fact that you could see how many people have survived due to you or not so that was really cool it's a really great game um it is on steam guys so if you're interested in playing it i would definitely recommend this game to anybody all right well that is all the time i have for today guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video if you had a lot of fun with it please be sure to give me a like leave a comment down below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you are subscribed please be sure to hit the bell notification that way you are aware of the next time that i post i love you don't forget your boobs Okay, bye. Climb it. Climb it. Go, go, go. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, oh, oh. oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he came through. Oh, he's coming through. Oh, my God. We gotta go. We gotta go. Go, 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 go. go. Oh, no. Go, 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 go. Move the shit. Move it. Move it.